It looks like former Vice President Joe Biden will be launching his presidential campaign next month. But which lane does he actually have to win in? Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Uh, a story from CBS News, former Vice President Joe Biden in the final stages of preparing a 2020 presidential campaign that is expected to launch next month, according to people familiar with his planning. A formal kickoff expected by mid-April and would all but cement the size and scope of the Democrat presidential field that currently still stands at 12 formally declared candidates, two still in the formal exploratory stage and others still mulling a bid but waiting to see what the former vice president may do. Now, uh, so Joe Joe Biden, if he jumps into this thing, uh, it'll probably uh, force a, a few of the maybe I'll runs uh, to to decide to, to, to not get into this race. Uh, but my big question here is, can Joe Biden actually win the nomination for the Democrat Socialist Party, a party that has moved uh, left of Joe Biden, a party that has embrace socialism very openly, a party that uh, has really uh, moved away from the Joe Biden mentality uh, and even the Obama era mentality, where uh, at least during the Obama administration, Obama ran as a moderate Democrat, even though he had uh, some of the leftist ideas, of course, but he, he, he didn't you know run openly as a Democrat socialist or as a socialist, whereas now you have a lot of Democrats who openly openly embrace the idea of uh, Medicare for all, of uh, free college tuition, of uh, reparations, of uh, the, the Green New Deal. I mean, you're talking about a party that is far, far, far to the left. And where does Joe Biden fit into this? Especially when you also have a party uh, that is very interested in identity politics. And Joe Biden is, let's be honest, an old white dude. Uh, does he really fit into the current Democrat Socialist Party? I don't think he does. Uh, add to that that he's not a very good candidate. Uh, in the times that he's run for president before, uh, he stumbled all over himself, uh, you know, had uh, accusations of plagiarism lodged against him, uh, you know, put his foot in his mouth numerous times. Uh, I just don't see Joe Biden being able to capture the magic, if you will, uh, of the former Obama administration. I don't see it happening. I think that uh, Joe Biden will run. I think that he'll be a top-tier candidate. Uh, but I actually uh, see Bernie Sanders as a stronger candidate than Joe Biden. I even think Beto O'Rourke may be a stronger candidate uh, than Joe Biden. It'll be interesting to see if Biden maybe teams up with a Beto O'Rourke uh, as we move throughout the process. But again, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not thinking that Joe Biden is uh, the number one uh, lead dog in this race just yet. I think the Democrat Socialist Party has moved too far to the left. I think they're going to view Joe Biden as a uh, as someone who uh, they should thank for his service during the Obama administration. But other than that, I think the Democrats are ready to move on even from Joe Biden. Tune in to the Chad HT Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO.